Hello, MGB Lamb here. Today I'm creating a short video to show you how to convert the original Maxis railways into the Lamb default real railway. Since the real railway became mandatory from Lamb 37 onwards, I've read many comments and complaints about it. So I wanted to go through the process of switching a region over to real railway in order to provide some clarity and hopefully dispel some of the myths that are floating around out there about how complicated it is. You may recognize the region here as the San Francisco map that comes with SimCity 4. This is one of my archived regions I pulled out of storage. Since it's pretty much the only developed region I've created with the older rail system. However, the intention was to use a region that has never been designed or built with the uh, intention of using real railway in it. Therefore, I think that this would be a fairly representative uh, way of showing what anyone else would have to do uh, were they upgrading for the first time to the real railway system. Also thought it'd be useful to quickly show you the transport map before we start. The red lines, of course, being the rail network here. Um, we're going to work down the right side of the region from the top. Um, maybe we will leave it there, see how, how long that takes us to, to, to get there. So without any further ado, let's begin. So here we are in the very first city I'm going to show you, the one in the northernmost side. Just zoom in here and you see the station here and the tunnel already have the real railway textures. That's because they're overridden. And what I'm having to do here, and this is, this is what you will have to do, is just overclick the old textures in order to convert them to the new real railway system. This is because originally Maxis used a, a pure texture based uh, approach to rails and the real railway specifications actually use uh, S3D planes to apply the textures and in order for the game to uh, switch between the two of those and refresh everything uh, you basically need to go around as I'm doing here clicking things. Now you will notice a number of the actual textures do not actually need updating and we'll come back to that in a moment but here's an interesting part the basic curve you can't just rebuild those so what I've had to do is delete the curve and rebuild it and it doesn't look much different but it does take up one extra tile of space and that's one of the big key changes when we talk about the the uh, change with the the default curve radius that's what we mean that very basic curve but you see here these wide radius curve pieces they were made with the original puzzle pieces and because they're puzzle pieces uh, they basically have a texture upgrade that means they just override automatically so the only segments we're having to go through and click here are those segments that were not made using the puzzle pieces as you can see it's quite easy you can click or you can drag on sections you have to avoid pieces like that puzzle piece uh, it's a, a flips piece that was used there um, but for the most part it is just a case of drag around the map click around on things and get everything to update to the new style as you can see here there has been really no difficulty at all and uh, um, one maybe not the most extensive rail system uh, at the same time, that's been a fairly quick process. So now we move on to the second city in our region. And what I'm going to do here, start at the entrance or, or neighbor connection to the previous city. There's just some simple clicking up this straight section here. And then we get to one of the old 90 degree wide radius curves. And you see that bump here. That's one of the problems with the lack of slope tolerance with the older pieces. Uh, we'll address that actually, so I'm going to, to delete that and rebuild it using uh, two 45 degree curves strung together, which will essentially make exactly the same setup as before, but uh, with the advantages uh, of what's new in the real railway system. Uh, and yeah, just to, to start off in our diagonal section before we do that i'm going to put a ped mall here that's going to prevent the the land from from changing uh, uh height around where i'm dragging now uh, i should have done that to begin with i may have caused ourselves a problem here by making the land lower than it had been hopefully we can fix that despite dragging things back together but seemingly not okay but we can fix that no problem so no, it's still not connecting. Right. This is how you make a, a 
radius 2 y radius curve, but if you want to make the radius 3 ones, which I'm going to do here, which more closely emulate the, the old pieces, you see here we just drag one tile shifted from where the ortho connection comes in. And I'm sure it's easier to, to, to see that than explain it. But yeah, uh, as you see here, we'll just do another one. And you can see it's dragging into a wide radius curve as you try and connect it up. Uh, for this next bit, I want you all to imagine the Benny Hill theme tune, because unfortunately it is a bit of a farce as I mess around trying to fix this, but I'll, I'll speed things up because it's not wholly interesting to watch every last bit, but uh, hey, mistakes and everything, uh, are warts and all as they say, uh, I think there's a lesson to be learned somewhere in showing you my mistakes and by coming the other way with the tunnel, I've created a lower tunnel, it's compensated, and everything works out, so we can delete that ped more, and continue to update the rest of the pieces in this city. As you see here, just a few straight sections again. The viaduct rail system, that's also a legacy component, um, fully supported uh, out of the box with uh, real railway. And see here, this, this lot, in order to connect up that switch, I have to rebuild it. But you see, it doesn't take any more space. It just looks a lot nicer. And as I was about to say, the lot itself uh, has already been updated thanks to the lot textures I mentioned earlier. And that's it. City 2 is done. So on to City 3. Uh, there's no connection this time round, as you may have noticed. There's only one neighbour connection in the previous city. We'll just start by clicking down here by the station. And we're going to follow along the viaduct rail system. And of course that's already been updated for us. So let's just find where that ends. Just up here it should be. There we go. And it enters into the tunnel section here. Actually as it happens, that's a, a little cheat, a little tunnel to know where I used. But we'll update the other side. Just to be on the safe side. Or complete even. And there's another rail section that starts in the, the southern end of the tile. So let's go down there and do the necessary work. Sorry about some of the performance issues here. This is quite a heavily developed and modded region. So there is the occasional bit of slowdown. I can't really avoid that in the, the video. And as you see, just a, a few places to click around here at the bottom. Really not a lot because I've used mostly the, the, the old wide radius curves. Um, it's actually making this process a, a lot easier than it would have been if I hadn't done that. Um, but even so, uh, I think you can all see there's, there's nothing too difficult going on here. So as we move into the fourth city, what I'm going to actually start doing is speeding up the video because I'm sure most of this is very repetitive at this point and we just want to go through a few key points, uh, those things that are, uh, should we say, not standard. So for example there, I'm just uh, dragging one tile away from the switch to make a wider switch because there's space to do it. As we come down here, I'm having to do a little bit of work because the slope settings are a little bit different, probably because I've changed my slope mod rather than anything to do with the real railway. One of the other myths that keeps coming out, the idea that there's a, an enforced slope mod that's more restrictive. There isn't, it's optional. You can deselect it in the installer. You can remove it after you've installed the NAM by just removing one file. Or if you prefer to use it, you can choose to keep it installed, uh, your own choice. But yeah, there, there, there is uh, uh, flexibility there. I'm personally using a, a, a custom um, rail and, and other slope mod. So here's an interesting part that's coming up now. And that is this sort of T intersection. So we'll come back to that because that's one of the tricky areas. I'm just coming back around the other side of that road viaduct to finish things up. You can see nothing too difficult or arduous there. So we're back now at what is going to be the problem area. I know this because I scouted out what I was doing in advance. Um, so 
what we can't do, as you're going to discover in a moment, is put this intersection back exactly as it was before, um, because that would uh, uh, be outside of the specifications of the real railway mod, which is designed to, to have more realistic switches, more realistic curves, and uh, as a result, uh, some of the setups that Maxis used, which uh, uh, if you look at scale uh, in terms of the, the automated trains and other things, um, they really are rather comical. Um, um, that's something that the, the Real Railway mod is attempting to address. You see here it's taking me uh, uh, a few attempts to remember the exact setup that's going to work. Um, there are a few different ways you can do it and make it work. And every time you see uh, a switch that you're using, it doesn't actually switch to the real railway textures. That's a pretty good sign that it's an unsupported setup. So, for example, I don't think that's going to work. Or is it? Yeah, that's the one. Ah, got it. Okay, so you can see it does require a little bit of a different uh, uh, layout, but does it take up much more space? Again, maybe a tile or two. So again, here we've got the problem with the, the, the regular curves. We just have to rebuild them. Um, that can be a little bit tricky if you don't start at the right point. So uh, I'm getting some interference with the draggable far at this point, but that's easy. We can fix that once I get this. There we go. To get that there, we can put the basic R1 curves into place. And that's it for this tile. On to City 5, and uh, yeah, I really will be ramping up the speed this time, uh, since there shouldn't be anything particularly unique or special going on in this city, if I remember correctly. So I'm just struggling to find the rail in the first instance. <laughs> there it is. I knew it had to be somewhere. Okay. And yeah, we just drag the entire section in one go. So if there's no puzzle pieces or anything else in the way, just quick drag like this, and we're done. Moving on to our next city. Uh, again, relatively short stretch of rail in a medium tile with a diagonal bridge. And you see that also is now covered by default. So it will just update if you have an existing bridge in place. And yep, yeah, not a lot of work to do here. In this city, we should get our first taste of the single track rail. There was a version that came with NAM before the real railway uh, using something called the railway add-on model RAM. And I'm just starting here with the standard dual track rail sections, updating those, and you see just clicking along as usual, and here you see off this spur, we have the single track rail section which I've used for some sidings, um, never really completed, and again, you just click along, and all of that updates nicely for us to so here we are in the biggest city in the region. I apologise in advance the performance issues here. Uh, uh, I happen to know for a fact uh, uh, far worse than they are anywhere else in this region due to the amount of content and uh, uh, other things going on. And uh, we'll start here in this uh, cut section, cut through. It goes to a tunnel. And you can see we've got a station there. Just rotate the view, which Fortunately, takes a second to kick in. There we go. Guess who forgot to put the flips rail pieces in there? Whoops. <laughs> uh, at least I got them on the other intersection and they're higher up. I guess we can amend that quickly. Let's go into the flips menu. And plopping down the relevant pieces we need. What's also uh, um, interesting as I look at this setup, there's a great draggable piece 
from the rail railway um, which would look uh, uh, or uh, much better as a switch before the station um, or between the two stations if you will and yeah so just drag this pattern so basically connecting one switch to another and it creates this lovely crossover piece which is really perfect on that side of the station would allow trains to come from any track onto any track into the station which is much more realistic so I'm clicking around here and I think it's important to emphasize you notice I have heavily MMP'd uh, the the area in the middle of this this railway interchange um, again the railway interchange was built even with the old pieces very deliberately not to be ridiculously compact for realism um, if you have any interest in realism then uh, you're not going to have any problems with the, the switch over to real real railway in fact if anything I think you're only just going to be pleased with all the new possibilities uh, uh, that, that come from the upgraded rail system uh, many of which uh, I am not showing here because the explicit focus for now is simply to, to, to show the process of conversion and uh, I happen to know again as I said uh, all, all I did was scout these videos I, uh, I tried my very best uh, not to cherry pick uh, a region fix region in advance or do anything like that but I know I'm not going to be able to go further than here and that's simply because I couldn't get my slope mod to allow me to build my rail as I wanted up that embankment so I cheated I removed the slope mod built the rail up the embankment and then put my slope mod back in my plugins and left it alone but of course now I'm coming back with the real railway system uh, updates that is going to be a bit of a problem and there's a second segment also in this city that will suffer from the same problem but before we get to that we'll come down the other side of that cutting from before where the tunnel is and now we'll take the opposite spur as we come out the main station which is a custom uh, lot of mine uh, to enable it to support both the high speed rail and rail connections that are in this city so see there's the other section that has the wrong grade and um, I shall do the same thing again to update that I shall just go back and remove my my slope mod temporarily and and I just really cannot be clearer with people um, from, in terms of slopes and slope tolerance it will be exactly the same as your previous setup was unless you choose the optional slope mod that comes with the NAM but it's very much optional so here we are I've switched over now without the slope mod uh, I've done that as a cut in the edit as opposed to making you watch <laughs> the process I didn't think that would be hugely interesting for for uh, people not that my videos uh, uh, have the tag hugely interesting I'm sure to begin with and there we go we got the the final pieces in place and actually now I've just remembered um, out of view and not connected to the rest of the rail down by my harbour here I do have some more rail that will need updating so let's go down there and have a little peek and actually I can see that we're probably going to have another one of those little problem segments so so if you want to look for the the key disadvantages yeah if you want to look at the problems and, and I'll be honest that, that you know there are some some um, setups that aren't gonna gonna convert straight away or easily um this video has really shown them all yeah with the exception of the the fact that you can't use double diagonal rail anymore uh little hint double diagonal rail uh, actually has half the capacity on uh, shared tiles i.e no more capacity than a single tile of rail anyway it also as uh, tiberius pointed out the other day and i'd completely forgotten because i haven't used that for for so long when you try and bring double diagonal back into uh, uh, the straight sections you will find that you'll have a problem doing that. Uh, it doesn't do so cleanly. So honestly, uh, um, if diagonal rail, uh, double diagonal rail, sorry, is so important to you, um, well, you know, I'm sorry, not a lot we can do. It's not coming to real railway. It's, you know, uh, um, 
I personally think you're 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 better off in that situation, accepting that you need to make a small compromise. Um, but as you can see, this is another one of those compromises. I can't get that piece anymore. Um, to to connect in both ways, but we can connect it up in one direction. And um, while I would like to do both directions, in the grand scheme of things, it's a small compromise. Again, there's no space for anything wider radius curve there either. I'm being ambitious. But at least this main uh, uh, four-way crossing works and it doesn't have the, the rather ridiculous roundabout that Maxis put in there. So that's it for this particular city. Uh, on to the next one. And to end off, just uh, another small section of rail here connecting two cities up. A little bit of clicking. So there's a fractionally angled section. And then a couple more clicks on the edge. And we're done.